Here's how to draw a medication up from a vial. So first, wash your hands, put on your gloves, and I'm gonna pretend that we are drawing up a flu vaccine for the flu clinic that UNH offers. So we're saying that each vial you need um, one milliliter of the flu vaccine. So since it's gonna be an IM injection, so intramuscular, I grabbed a 25 gauge needle that's one inch in length. So depending on what site you're giving it, you would need a different gauge, different size. So make sure you check that. And since it's one milliliter of the flu vaccine, I grabbed a three milliliter syringe. You also are gonna need a blunt needle, which is what you use to draw up the medication in the vial and alcohol swabs. So first things first, I'm gonna take the vial check to make sure that it's the right solution. So we're gonna pretend it's the flu vaccine and wash it, the top of it with an alcohol swab. Even if you were the first one to open the vial, always just wash the top for 15 seconds just to limit any bacteria or anything that's been on it. Okay. So once that's good, I'm gonna grab my three milliliter syringe, take it out of its packaging and the, the blunt needle and attach the two. So you just attach it by twisting it on. Next, I'm gonna take off the cap of the blunt needle. And since we said we need one milliliter of the flu vaccine, I'm gonna draw back air in the syringe to one milliliter. So this air I'm going to inject into the vial and that just helps draw the fluid in easier so you're not pulling with resistance because you want the same amount going in to come out so it equals. So stab the vial, inject the air, and then flip it over so you can get the solution. So slowly draw back the solution to one milliliter and make sure to try to limit any air bubbles. So if you have some, you can like tap it out a little bit. Um, but whatever works for you. But make sure you have exactly one milliliter, so I do. And then I'm gonna remove that and recap. So I always put this hand beside behind my back just so I know I'm not gonna touch it and you use a kind of swoop and scoop method. So I have the cap on the table right here and I'm gonna swoop into the cap and then scoop up and then take this hand back to put it on. And that's just to limit any needle sticks. So if I'm gonna then go and walk and administer this medication, you always label it. Label it with what is inside of here um, and how much it is just because you might be drawing up 10 or so medications and either the patient might refuse one or you might get a call saying don't administer this and you have all these clear vials looking the same. So you wanna make sure you know which one. So always label before you walk around with the medication. And then you would just take the blunt off and put the needle tip on the same way. Twist, take off the needle syringe, open it, put it on, twist, and you're good to go. Administer it.